So we decided to take a break from the hotel and all of the presentations and come over and check out what's actually going on in the lab here at Spry. And I am here with Dr. Sadir Ravori. Did I say that okay? Yes, yeah, oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> and he is a senior scientist here at the Spry Lab. And thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you so much. So I just wanted to ask you a little bit about what is it like working with Dr. Heward? It's, uh, it's a fabulous experience because, I mean, we've been working in Pittsburgh for a long time. Uh, many uh, uh, research projects and then uh, as a working um, environment and also kind of a very friendly, uh, very uh, high spirit, very um, uh, energetic uh, combination and uh, we enjoy every moment of working together. Do you feel that collaborative spirit here? Absolutely. I mean, Dr. Hewitt and uh, I were in Pittsburgh and we have a kind of a working relationship and then that's continued for, and then we bring it here and then we're continuing now. So what are some of the things that you're working on currently? Um, right now we work on uh, like several research uh, projects and uh, we, we uh, focus on stem cells and then PRP, the platelet rich plasma and bone marrow aspirate concentrate for orthopedic implications and also for anti-aging uh, studies. Uh, my, my expertise uh, from uh, adipose dust stem cells and Dr. Heward comes from muscle derived stem cell expertise. So there's a right combination that what we have, uh, we bring together uh, both expertise and then uh, we're looking into um, using stem cells and clinical translation for, uh, for orthopedic complications and also for anti-aging studies. How uh, we can't a be able to make an old person new, but we can always make an old person to live better from that point uh, from they are. So that's our focus and also to make the work on the clinical translation, what we do in the lab, so that comes to the, like a bench side to the bedside. So that's a clinical translation that we focus on up here. And how does something like the Vail Scientific Summit influence the work being done right here at Spry? Oh, that's incredible uh, event because the Vail Scientific Summit itself says that engaging the bright minds in the, in the country, in the, in the world, and bringing them together and obviously, I mean, it, the, it's the brightest minds coming together and the, and the cutting edge science to get coming together. And uh, that's a great opportunity for us to uh, collaborate and then uh, bring uh, uh, kind of, uh, great discoveries and great findings ultimately to help the patients, I mean, for the, for the patient care. Um, and this kind of uh, uh, networking is possible only uh, from these kind of uh, meetings like Royal Scientific Summit and that results, and that already resulted in many collaborations in the past, and then now we're working on this scientific summit will emerge as a great event uh, to bring minds together, people together, work together, and the discoveries together, and the accomplishments together as a teamwork. I mean, although we're people from different parts of the uh, country, but they are like a one team uh, together. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be a trip to Spry if we didn't stop by the Biomotion Lab. It's the most fun room in the building, really. And so I'm here with Dr. Scott Tashman. He is the Director of Biomedical Engineering. And thank you so much for chatting with me for a few mi moments. Oh, happy to. <laughs> so I was just curious, you know, could, for people that might not know, can you tell us a little bit about what the Biomotion Lab is? Well, if you think about orthopedic care and what the goal is, is to get people back to function, to moving. And so... Uh, the way I look at this is if you really want to understand how well you're doing orthope with orthopedic care, you have to look at people moving, and that's what this lab's all about. And so when people come in here, um, I've also often seen sensors on their bodies. Can you explain a little bit about what that's about? Right. Well, so we want to understand how their body's moving, how if it's a knee injury, we want to understand how their knee is moving, how much flexion they're getting during different activities. We also care about how the other joints in their body are working together. So for instance, if you're doing a baseball swing, you're using every part of your body from your ankles all the way up through your shoulders. And to understand how an injury has affected someone's ability to perform a motion or how well a treatment's done getting them back to re performing that motion, you have to look at a whole body motion. So we have a system where we can put small reflective markers on someone's body, and then we have an elaborate system of cameras. We have 18 cameras that track the motion of those markers in 3D. And if we put enough markers on the body, we can track the motion of all the segments, your foot, your thigh, your, your, uh, your trunk, your pelvis. 
and look and see how the joints are functioning and how someone's moving. So for instance, if someone's had a knee injury and they're coming back, is their injured knee working the same as their contralateral knee? Or are they compensating in some way? Are they shifting, uh, you know, overloading one joint to protect another one? So, and so we combine not only that measurement of motion, we have sensors in the floor that record all the forces, both uh, in an open area in the lab, where we can do jumping or baseball swings, those sorts of things, or on a treadmill where people can do running uphill, downhill, or walking. Uh, the key t for us is finding the activity that's most important for the person that's being treated. So if it's a high performance athlete, we're going to do very demanding activities in the lab, jump landings or you know, running uphill at 15 miles an hour, or whatever it is that, that is important for that athlete. If it's someone who's more concerned with getting back to our duties of daily living, we might be looking at someone walking or climbing a set of stairs or, or uh, picking up an object. So really it's, it's focusing on the, the, most, the movement needs of the patient the individual that we're testing. And this lab is really set up so that we can test just about any motion you can imagine in here. Wow, that's incredible. And so how does something like the Vail Scientific Summit impact the work that you're doing here in the Biomotion Lab? Well, the, the Scientific Summit is really addressing uh, a subset of the types of things that we look at here, but a very important subset. So we look at uh, studies that are maybe just the outcome of a conventional surgical procedure, maybe a joint replacement or a ACL reconstruction. Um, this summit is bringing, has brought some of the best minds in the world together to look at really advanced therapies, regenerative medicine approaches, uh, reducing impacts of aging, these kinds of biologically driven therapies that Dr. Heward is, is really focused on here in the Center for Regenerative Medicine. The where, I, where I see my work and this lab fitting into that is that ultimately you need to be able to evaluate how effective these therapies are. And this lab is really uh, very well equipped and positioned to serve that function so that as you start developing therapies, it's one thing to say, yeah, we think we have a great therapy, you know, patients seem happy, but you really wanna understand how those tissues, how those treatments are impacting function of patients. And this is really the ultimate way to assess that. Sounds like there are some exciting times ahead. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. It's a great talk to you.